So what we have here is the chlorine uh, compact controller. What we are going to do is just we'll fix the sensor. This is the sensor cable here. This is the flow switch is over here, which is connected to XK1. We are going to connect the sensor cable, which is, has five cores. First, we'll go to XE2, which, which is has in terminal number one, it has red. So we'll take the red color, we'll go and fix it. Second one, it has nothing. So we'll go to the number three, it's yellow green. So we have here one core, it has two colors, yellow and green together remove it from behind if you can see it it's yellow and green so we'll come and fix it on xe2 number three then we'll get to the black in xe3 We'll fix it in the XE31. Then we'll go to the blue as it's written here in this connection setup. Then XE4, it has the white, which is like creamy color a little bit. We'll fix it number one. And finally, we have the brown one in XE4, number uh, terminal number two. For the pump connection, it's the same. Uh, it's the same. We'll go black and brown on the F relay, which is XR2, black and brown together which is this one, the uh, XR2. We'll push the white bottom inside, then we push the cables, we'll connect and, oh, it didn't hold up. Okay. This is we need to push it a little bit more for the for the brown and the black cable. So for the settings for the chlorine chlorine controller, so we'll go to menu go to control we'll put the dosing pump dosing is up because we need to put some chlorine inside for the set point we can go ahead and change it let us say we need it for 2 ppm we'll press the hairs on the side and then we go for number two and again we'll go to zero so now we have a set point uh, for 2 ppm uh, dosing type is proportional on P you can change it for uh, PID or manual as you wish so we'll go to the input we have here sensor of if, if it's showing clear for the type, uh, the type of the sensor, it's CLB2. So we'll go here on the sensor type. We'll put on, uh, on CLB2, or we can put on three. So it's CLB2. Then we go on contact on pause for the flow switch uh, for the flow sensor. Now we'll go back for the output. For the P relay, we will put unused unless if you want to take a signal for uh, 
for you uh, this is for dosing for the F relay which is connected to the pump and that's pretty much it the limit now it's down so when we press start it will start working then it will be it will say pause because we don't have water on the DGMA that the flow sensor is saying that we don't have uh, any flow unless we touch it with the base of the of the DGMA it will give a contact that it means it's uh, there is a flow and we need the chlorine so now the pump is working can see here it's on X10 then we can switch it for stop if you need to stop it or if you want to go ahead and work on manual you can just ch change the knob for up but now as we have it on the controller we will put an external or extern so it will work uh, automatic when the compact controller uh, when the reading here it will reach for 2 ppm we will have zero dosing as you can see here now the dosing is on 100 percent uh, it's still not reached for 2 ppm as the set point and here we have 0 0.01 because the sensor is already on the on the solution on the housing of the sensor if we need just to fix it on the dgma which is the housing sensor we'll just remove this cap and fix the sensor inside it and that's pretty much it